When trading, traders keep close attention to the pip and the pip et. The pip is typically the fourth digit from the decimal point. The pip et is the fifth. When looking at the USD JPY, the pip is the th second digit, the pip et is the third. The market uh, value calculation within uh, for trading for profit and losses are based on the pip and the pip bet. We're going to look today at margin levels, trade size, and how it all works out. I have a spreadsheet that I want to pull into the into the video. Okay, so let's look at what we have here. We have an example of the EURUSD. Remember we talked about the ask and then the bid. What I did also was give a second example of a bid. Okay, so let's just pretend this is the ask and this is the bid. This is the ask and this is the bid. When looking at this example, one from the decimal point, four numbers, 1196, the six is the pip. And the bid right here, the fourth number, is the five. That's that's the pip. So you have pip and pip. In this example, the spread is one pip. You can see that. There's uh, 10 digits between the 64 and 54. Now, in the second example, the 64 and the 66, there's a two pip bet spread. So to understand how this works, let's say for example, you bought the market at 64. You bought your price at 1.11964 and you exited at 0 0.11994. That would be three pips. Let's see how this calculates. Now, looking at the trade size in the market, for example, on a normal 50 to 1 leverage, and it doesn't matter at this point this information. We're going to look at this information. So the trade size is 1,000. That's the smallest trade size. It's called a micro lot. And when a micro lot moves up or down, the pip value is 10 cents. So in this example, you, have, you would have made 30 cents. The mini lot, the trade size is 10,000. It's also called a mini lot. And the pip value is a dollar. In this example, you would have made three bucks. And here, a hundred thousand is called a standard lot. That's the highest trade size you can do. And the trade value is ten dollars a pip or thirty bucks. Very simple. Now, let's look at pip ets, for example, right here. Okay, right there. Let's just say you went from 64 to 66. Two pip bets. Well, in this example, you would have made two cents on a micro, 20 cents on a mini, and two dollars on a standard. So that's how you read the bid, um, the price using the pips, pip bets using on the micro, the mini, and the standard lots. What we're going to do now is talk about leverage. Leverage is really important in the market. Similar to if you were to buy a house. Let's just say the house is $100,000 and you put $10,000 down on the house. You put a deposit, a margin of $10,000. You're leveraging $100,000. So that means if the house goes up 10%, the house will be worth $110,000. So your $10,000 invested leveraged a hundred thousand dollar home that went up ten thousand in value essentially you earned a hundred percent on your money so similar to that the forex market has a much higher leverage a much